Well, Diego just thought that it was Christmas. Yeah, I've got a can, a jerry can here with fuel in it that I took out of the Porsche. It's 15 years old, Diego. You're not gonna like this smell. Let's see the reaction as he smells it. I mean, I can't just take it away. He will wonder what it was forever. Smell that, Diego. Oh. Yeah, and it doesn't even smell like fuel, like petrol. It smells like, I don't know, 15 years old fuel. <laughs> it smells terrible. But yeah, I'm going to take it to the filling station and ask them if they can get rid of it for me. Because I don't want to put it in the car just to get rid of it. And how else do you get rid of it? And Diego will agree that this is not something that he would want. <laughs> Diego. But I like to show him these things so he knows what's going on. And he doesn't just think that I'm trying to keep this stuff from him just because I want to be funny. Yeah, rather let him know what it is and then get rid of it. Okay, Diego, that's it. Sissy. <laughs> I wish I could get her to stop doing that, but she wants to do it. <laughs> now he starts to like it. Do you want to smell again, Diego? Let's smell it again. I don't even need to take that cap off, but... Oh, now he smelled it, the real nose full. Diego, that does not smell nice. So if you ever wondered what a tiger's face would look like when he smelled petrol, gasoline, that has been Oh, 15 years in a car, that's something you might just put on your skin if you are going to walk through a tiger infested area, if you were stranded with your car. I can, I won't say I'll give a guarantee, but I can almost give a guarantee that you'll be safe. <laughs> yeah, the perfect tiger repellent. Well, just don't sit in the car for 15 years and wait before you use it. Maybe you should just use it as it is. Just get this cap back on. Reminds me of the joke of the guy that said that he was stuck in a tree with two lions at the bottom. And he was stuck there for three weeks. And I said, but how can you stay up there so long? He said, no, it's no problem. When the lions go to get water in the afternoons, then quickly he runs to the shop and he buys himself a cold drink and a pie. And then he gets back into that tree and he sat there for three weeks. Well, that's it. Let me go. I have to go get some plugs for the Porsche. It's a iridium plug and... They are a little pricey, but they are good. So I will go and get that and get rid of this fuel. And then get new fuel. Because it's time to start up the Porsche. Yeah. Well, Diego, see you a bit later. <laughs> that fly is taking a free ride on your nose, Diego. Okay, so the guys at the filling station did not have a 15-year guarantee on the petrol. And, uh, but they accepted it at least. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you get rid of it. Take it to a filling station. They say they, you can use it to clean stuff with and so on. But the smell of that fuel was just not worth having it around. Yeah. Well, these guys are selling internet fiber lines now to this part of our street. <laughs> well, let me get back got stuff to do uh, I got the plugs for the car iridium plugs gonna fit that now and I'm a 
hoping to start it within the next day or two. At least then I can start to get it ready to drive. I guess Diego wants to just smell the petrol again. Just now it is not 15 years old. Now it's fresh petrol, Diego. Oh, there he goes. Now he knows that it's not going to smell nice. He got a slight little smell from it and he didn't like it at all. Let's see if Enzo smells it. What does he do? Enzo, Zach, sorry. Let's see. Oh, they don't like it. Tracy! Zach! <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a chance. If you are in a field where there's tigers and you have to walk through it and you have the option of, well, pouring gasoline over yourself. <sighs> This is going to be a, if you're a non-smoker, do it. But if you're a smoker, don't. Rather take your chance with those tigers. Well, that is it. I think that is a conclusion that can be expanded on. Although, I'd say that is pretty accurate. Right, the cats are all eating in the room next to me. But... Who wants to eat is Diego. Enzo is in the pool. He is just relaxing a little. I have to treat that water in the pool. After that storm we had. Oh, there's something in that water. Now that's strange. Maybe he got a fright. from something well there is something there in the water when they get out of there I'll quickly go check yeah that's strange Diego's rather going to get on the rock. Maybe there's a mouse in the pool. Diego! Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Well, let me go get their food and get them out of the pool you never know maybe it's even a snake i have seen snakes in the pool before oh there's a frog there it is that is what it was operation saving the frog coming up within the next few minutes right let me get going i'll save that frog and feed the tigers at the same time not in the same sequence i think i'm going to first feed the tigers on the other side then close them up then save the frog <laughs> okay let me get going okay let me get down here sometimes it's difficult when you're going downstairs you need to have balustrading because you have to climb over a lot of animals yeah i remember when diego was still sleeping here on the steps always i had to get over him that's a different story. You have to be careful because you cannot go and step on his tail or something. That would be a big mistake. So, yeah, just keep that in mind if you've got 50 pets. Okay, let me get those boys their food, save the frog. And I have to put something in the water to treat it as well. Got a whole lot of things to do in the next five minutes. Okay, the way these dogs are sneezing is probably because they're not used to this. Yeah, this is what we will be eating tonight. We haven't had this kind of food in a long, long time. Yeah, Daisy, I can read your mind. You want it. All of you want it. <laughs> okay, now I started something. Now I have to run. <laughs> okay, quickly took out the plugs. Yeah, it was a little difficult there by the turbo because you couldn't reach in there, but I did manage to get it out. Quite difficult to pull those 
plug wires off, just use a flat head screwdriver at the bottom where it goes into the head. Just give it a little bit of a push and then pull it with all you have from the top and they come out easily. But yeah, I'm going to be changing them right after I fed the tigers. So let me quickly go feed them. We were a little late with the tiger's food, so the frog had to just swim a while, but I guess he's tired of swimming now. So yeah, let me go. I'll be back here in the next few minutes, finishing off. Okay, Enzo and Diego are ready for their food. I'm just gonna throw it that way because I don't want them to walk in this direction. that and another one and another one right tigers are fed now cats there you go cats Diego is growling a little bit let me just get the cat stuff ready here and once that's ready I can quickly go get mr. frog Okay, let me just leave that like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you can stay there, Sissy. When I'm back, I'll sort it out. We first run out here. I don't want all the dogs to go there now. Closing the tigers up. I don't really put a safety pin in if I'm going to be just in and out, but let's just see where is the whatever. Oh, there I see a froggy. If I can just get him to come to the side, I'll be able to get him up. Okay, guys, I'm going to need more hands. I'm not going to be able to get it while holding the phone. So let me just show you afterwards. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll be done in a second. Okay, so I had to take him out by hand. That was the easiest way to do it. And now I have to just put him on the other side of the wall if I can catch him. Now he's running like any other animal in history straight to the bushes. Get him! Ah, there I got him! Right. Then I can just throw him over the wall. His little heart is racing like you won't believe. But that's okay. If he's on the other side of the wall, he'll be just fine. You don't want Diego to eat him. Because if Diego eats him, well, we're going to have a foam mouth video again. So somewhere over here, there is a place that you just keep my phone down here quickly. Right, he's on the other side of the wall. Safe as can be. Well, I treated the water with some chlorine. I didn't have much, but I think I've got enough. And the water is already looking great. It's just at the bottom. I'll probably have to clean that, but the water won't need to be or replaced in any way so that's just great okay getting out of here tigers monkeys cats and dogs all are happy now my turn to eat and this was the least amount of mileage we got out of the blue water And so just checking for that frog. Ain't gonna find no frog there, Enzo. But wait, I think he saw a tiger. Unless the tiger saw him first.
that's it then they're going to be swimming thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it like always have a good day well i asked diego what does this smell like and he said it smells like old dinosaurs